tutorial by learn 21 where we create uh, courses for 21st century skill so in this video we'll look at swagger editor uh, very sort of uh, good functionality that this editor provides and this is for writing a documentation for the api and uh, not only documentation uh, you can give your uh, customers if you have an api you can give your customers to try out this api also from here and see how the response will look right so the whole sort of interactive uh, features also it has right and of course for anybody to integrate the api you can provide these specs right which they can uh, help and uh, this can help them and then they can embed in their code so when you go to editor.swagger.io you will find this whole sort of an example which is listed but this example is rather complicated for beginners so i thought maybe we can create a simpler sort of video uh, where uh, there is more uh, you know from basic we will go and see uh, how we can do with this okay so let's get started right i'll just clear the editor so basically swagger just bit introduction so basically apis everyone is building uh, can have different uh, structure each api right there is no standardization so then this group came up with the standardization uh, which helps uh, humans to uh, consume the api better and also in the machines they want that this a api spec or this swagger uh, spec or documentation should work right so they have sort of wanting to uh, automate the whole thing so you have an api you just give the yaml file uh, which is file uh, which is produced by this editor so we will write yaml also only in this black box and in the right side you will see the output right so you give that yaml to a machine and machine can do the automation for you so that is an advanced concept so uh, for humans also there was no standardization so they came up with that so we'll just make a simple api spec here uh, and see how we can also create for our own api okay uh, first uh, there are some sort of uh, fields that they have defined right so open api is the first field that you have to uh, enter and also uh, you can look at these fields swagger specification if you go right all the fields are mentioned here right what fields you can use right and some fields are required like open api is a required field info is a required field and parts only these three fields are required rest uh, you can see are optional right so i'll also take a very simple example not go too much deep so open api this uh, the api version you have to mention uh, then we said info right in info you can mention the title so i'll just create a dummy api for learn 21 right and some description um, learn api uh, learn uh, 21 api docs right and also you see this uh, editor guides you says uh, should have required version property so version should be there so without version this is not set right and some errors are also coming so it says a uh, required path right because paths is a required field so it's saying that path uh, should be there right i'll maybe just make it more uh, font i will increase so you can see once i am writing here some kind of text is being uh, displayed here right uh, then you can also have contact and give your contact so whatever email id you want to give you can give right and name also you can give okay so as you can see here the api specs are being created now open api info we have now next important is the paths right so path uh, here you have to mention all the parts of the area or what we also called the endpoints right what are the urls that can be hit uh, which are sort of a functionality of the api right every api is a get post and and different kind of paths right so all those paths you have to mention here which is the most important thing right so i will mention a simple uh, say uh, slash quotes and uh, course id slash course I'll, I'll just say slash course 
so this is a path uh, uh, for getting the uh, all the details of a course right so plan 21 has a lot of courses so if i want to get detail of a course i can call this api right and uh, then i can say this is a get uh, endpoint right and once you write there you will see some documentation already uh, being created right get uh, you can give some description to fetch uh, details of a course right and you can see uh, some error also it says responses should be there. so every uh, sort of path or every this uh, HTTP verb should have some responses so I'll add some responses right responses the HTTP response so say this 200 response what what you have to do right um, you can have content type uh, content application JSON right so I've been doing this for some time now so I remember these uh, sort of uh, different fields but you don't need to remember that you can always go in the documentation and see sample examples right here a lot of examples they have given right uh, like something like this right what is the uh, description what are the responses 200 description content and uh, then the schema right and also yeah this language that I'm writing here is YAML right very simple language uh, uh, even more concise than JSON you can also write in JSON but uh, default for uh, swagger is YAML and uh, and can be easily written here okay so application JSON uh, this is the content type and uh, then uh, important thing is the schema in what schema uh, you will return the results so for that they have a different system where uh, you just define the reference here not the exact schema you, you can say component schemas and the name of the schema say course okay. and then there is another field uh, components where you can uh, define this right uh, schemas and here you can define the course and the different uh, sort of fields in the course right uh, we'll come come to that as well uh, here you have to define the course uh, uh, what are the Sort of uh, parameter here again uh, if you are confused anytime like what what will be the sort of uh, uh, how you will use it you can always come back and see here right you can just say schemas uh, swagger right so data model schema is here right so we want an example of the components so you can also just swag at components uh, example all right component section so you can define uh, like this so uh, schema course is yours uh, this and uh, then I'll just copy for quick sort of so here you have to define what kind of object and what will you uh, return and say I will return the title of the course right and I will return the description of the course and uh, maybe the ID of the course right bit uh, it will take some time for you to get used to this uh, formatting or the field names for swagger but uh, once you sort of make one or two documentation then then it will come to you naturally right some sort of uh, this also it gives right it says it was declared but never used but I have used here not sure why is it saying this uh, description is missing okay 
and so it guides you as well. Two hundred response. Right, to this you can write. Okay, I'll just uh, make it a little less. So here you can see uh, whatever we have mentioned to fetch the details of the course. Uh, no parameters. So I'll add one parameter here, right? Uh, because and the course some course you are getting you're not getting all the courses right so you will have to pass a either a query parameter or a path uh, like a path parameter right and here uh, in the response you can just see uh, right uh, components uh, i think there's a hash also right okay now it's good so in the response you can see uh, that uh, just a minute I'll make it a little larger in the response you can see that you will get the title description ID of the course back right the only thing missing is parameters so parameters can be uh, parameters can be of different types right parameter can be a query parameter uh, it can be a, a path parameter which is more on the URL right so parameters also you can just parameter object uh, I guess. right here you can check the parameter object uh, which where the main properties that you have to mention are the uh, the location and the name right so we'll add some parameters also to this uh, get right so we can say parameters right and uh, and if you want to define arrays in YAML you have to give like this dash and name say course ID right and uh, type I can say path okay uh, in location is in right uh, in path in path okay great and it says something should have either schema or content property okay then uh, As a content application, okay. right? Some issue. We'll just go to parameter, uh, or just simply I'll say schema integer. This is also fine. Let's not complicate it. So what we are saying is this is a path parameter, uh, right? That we are wanting to have and uh, the name will be course id and it will be passed in the path so sometimes it does not work just refresh the page right here now in the parameters you can see course id is there integer is there so in the path uh, you have to mention a course id maybe i can write here as well let's see yeah so this is also fine you are saying that course id has to be passed as a parameter uh, in the path uh, which is an integer and this kind of response you will get right of course this is very basic the real scenario will have much more details uh, maybe some header parameter also is there uh, right so it says required or not we can say required to so see this uh, uh, sort of uh, editor only guides us so when we say required true then we get this kind of star in red right so when this sort of somebody is looking at this API knows that I have to pass the course ID right and in the response I will get like this and similarly more parameters you can always add like a header key uh, API keys there that you will have to pass in the header okay so let's uh, take an example for uh, post also and uh, then we will sort of close this small tutorial right if you have more doubts you can please let me know and then I'll, I'll make further tutorial right so similar to get right we can have a a post but the URL uh, might be different so what we can do is uh, make another path and says direct uh, course right so this is a different path uh, this is a post and uh, uh, I'll just add description uh, use this uh, API to create course right pa 
वो सर फॉर क्रिएटिंग डेटा और पोस्टिंग डेटा यूज दिस ए पी आई टू फैच डिटेल्स एंड मोड सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑलवेज हैव टू थिंक फ्रॉम द कस्टमर परस्पेक्टिव वेन दे आर यूजिंग द ए पी आई रिस्पॉन्स इज अगेन इट्स इज सो वेरी मच सिमिलर टू to the uh, get but the only change will be the request body so it, this will have another sort of uh, field which is called request body right where you can uh, define all the how this data should be sent right uh, in the request body uh, same similar parameters uh, you will have to define you will have to define a schema uh, how uh, right uh, data has to be sent so let's say request body right defining request body i think i searched this before so yeah so i'll just copy it for faster sort of uh, cuz i don't remember uh, please so in the request body also you have to define a, a description say uh, post uh, structure of a course right is it required yes required content is and schema again um, i think you can use the same schema here as well right because that will remain the same so you fetch a course it has three fields create a course through api uh, should have only three fields as well right and in the responses uh, you can just write this 200 response right and now see every error is gone and you can see a post request as well so use this api to create a course there is no parameter and uh, this is the request body right you have to post like this a uh, json and uh, responses in 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 response you will get uh, 200 uh, sort of response or you can just say course created successfully This is very uh, interactive, right? So I change here very fast. Uh, here you can see the response changing, right? Uh, sorry, not this one. This one. The course created successfully. And schema is also here, right? Title, description, and ID. You can also have uh, the required property here. Uh, to uh, I think here you can add that as well required true okay no should be an array of property within the schema object okay no problem so that uh, we can see how we, we want to add that right so this is a simple example uh, where we sort of uh, so what are the basic fields that we need for uh, creating open api spec or swagger spec uh, uh, for our api so three main fields are there open api info and the uh, paths and then we added some uh, sort of paths uh, we added one get path right to fetch a course right and a post path uh, to post that course right so this is our api small api spec uh, where we have parameters we have responses and uh, here in the post we have a request body and the responses as well and the schema of the object that we are trying to create and you can generate different kind of uh, html also if you want to share uh, with anyone uh, as well so yeah this is a small video on swagger editor very nice you should check it out if you have an api and uh, want to create interactive documentation which you want to share with others internal team also uh, right and uh, and then see how people use it right which will help uh, everyone get on the same page so yeah that's it uh, for more such videos please uh, like and uh, subscribe thanks